So here are questions to uh, calculate probabilities for normal distribution. That's not standard normal. So here we have a mean or expected value of 4 and a variance of 0.16 for the random variable x. That means the standard deviation is 0.4. 0.4 because that's the square root of the variance 0.16. So let's start with the first problem. Probability that the random variable x takes a value larger or equal than 4.2. So again we sketch what we are looking at. Here's a PDF sketched with mean 4 as this is what we are looking at here and now we are looking at probability that x is larger than 4.2. So we are after that right hand tail probability. So well, we already know it should be smaller than 50%. The problem is for that distribution we don't have a table. Right, so what we somehow need to translate this problem into a standard normally distributed problem for which we do have a table. Unfortunately a translation exists. So the standard normal has a mean around zero and it has a mean of zero and variance of one. And that's what we have a table for. So how do we translate this? In other words, what is that value? in the Z world that we are looking for. So fortunately there is a fairly easy uh, translation formula available. So the probability that X is smaller or equal to 4.2 is the same as the probability that Z is larger or equal to 4.2 minus the mean of X divided by the standard deviation of X which is of course 0.4 as we've uh, discussed just before. So these two probabilities are the same. Yeah, so the standardization formula which we used here is that the set random variable is equal to the value of x minus the mean of x divided by the standard deviation of x. Often you will see a slightly different notation. You will see for the mean you will see mu x and for the standard deviation sigma x. But it's the same. So what is that value? That's 0.2 divided by 0.4, that's 0.5. So that value we are looking for in the set world is 0.5. That corresponds to 4.2 in the distribution with mean 4 and standard deviation 0.4. So 0.5, probability that set is smaller than 0.5 is 0.6915. That's the, we'll look this up from the standard normal table. So that's 6915. And therefore, the tail probability is going to be 1 minus that probability, because the probability we read off was of the smaller than type. Okay, so what is the tail probability now? The tail probability is 1 minus 0 0.6915, that's 0 0.3085, so that's this probability. And now the setup of the problem ensures that this tail probability in the X world the probability that x is larger than 4.2 is exactly the same. So it's equal to 30.85%. Uh, Problem number two. We want to know what's the probability that x is larger than 3.9 but smaller than 4.3. So again, we need to translate this into the smaller than type probabilities such that we can eventually use tables. and you possibly already realize that this is how we separate this probability out, but we can graphically illustrate that. Just uh, mark down 3.9 and 4.3. We are interested in the probability between these two values. What we're going to do is we'll take the probability that x is smaller than 4.3 and we subtract the probability that x is smaller than 3.9. Okay, and what we are left with is the probability in between, which is the one we are looking for. Again, we don't have a table for the x random variable, and we need to translate that into the set world. So we need to know what are the values, the set equivalents of 4.3 and 3.9. So we'll immediately apply the translation formula again. 4.3 minus the mean of x divided by the standard deviation minus the probability that z is smaller than 3.9 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation of x. That leaves us with the probability that z is smaller or smaller than or equal, doesn't matter, 0.75 minus the probability that z is smaller or equal than negative 0.25. Okay. 
again we need to go to the table so we look for 0.75 5 is over here that's 0.7734 minus the probability that that is smaller than negative 0.25 and that is this one 0.4013 0.413 and hence the solution is 0.372137% approximately is the probability that z between, falls between these two values and therefore that x falls between these values. Lastly question 3 here we have the following probability that x is smaller than 3.8 union probability that x is larger than 4.2 so the union means we're looking at for the probability that x is either smaller than 3.8 or larger or equal to 4.2. So again we shall sketch this. Recall since we have a continuous distribution taking the equal sign in or not doesn't matter. So the probability that x is smaller than 3.8 is going to be represented by this yellow area and the probability that x is larger than 4.2 is going to be represented by this green area. And all we need to find out now is what's the probability that either of these two happen so we need to add these. But note that we are having a symmetric problem here. The, the two tails are symmetrically around the mean 4 or 0.2 away and therefore both of them have equal size. So really what we need to calculate is the probability of two times probability that x is smaller than 3.8. Okay, And uh, that we need to translate again into the set world. So it's that smaller than 3.8 minus 4 divided by 0.4. That's the probability that z is smaller than negative 0.5. We need to multiply that by 2 we'll be looking for that value negative 0.5 no not negative 0.5 yeah it was negative 0.5 so here we go okay 0.3085 that was the probability that z is smaller than negative 0.5 and we would need to multiply that with 2 leaving us with 0.617, so about 62%. That is the probability that x is either smaller than 3.8 or larger than 4.2, given that x is normally distributed with mean 4 standard deviation 0.4.